Hello everyone, this is my UHO 22 project I bought recently. Uh, the machine is in a bad condition. The parts are missing, there are no knobs and uh, I have no power cable for this. Uh, we'll see how this goes, perhaps uh, there will be nothing of it, but uh, hopefully I will be able to get this up and running. Uh, the, the left meter is blocked, there is no lid for this, there are dents in it, pieces of veneer missing. I looked inside, there are some parts that appear to be missing, but uh, only little bits and pieces, it shouldn't be too difficult. But I haven't been able to power this up because I don't have the cable. So I went online and I ordered a cable, which is this here. This is a C9 IEC standard C9 cable plug because the other side of this the power plug on the UHER 22 special looks like this. Here I have the caps for potentiometers. Here you can see the power plug, sorry, socket, and it's very unusual, it's the old 1960s, like a tea kettle or iron plug. Dimensions I have uh, posted on Flickr, there is a link in the description of this video, you can go there and check it out, also a picture of it and the C9 plug is very similar maybe I can get better light not much okay All right, so it's, it's roughly square uh, sorry, rectangular but it's got rounded corners there are two pins in the middle and the C C9 is, is very very similar it's almost the same except it's slimmer on this side the pins are correctly spaced but the pins are too wide so they will not fit these sockets. We can try. You have to force it and even then it will not fit. You can see that, that the C9 is much smaller. It would fit if these were larger this way. But that's not the case. But, I got lucky and here on the Czech auction site I've been able to come across, well actually I got, I got lucky and I came across these things. These were used on, on old Tesla equipment, which is a Czechoslovakian company that made everything, uh, tape recorders, radios, um, also measuring equipment, professional stuff and they used these so probably this was uh, something used in Germany in the 1960s and also Tesla kept using this and these I've been able to buy, I have three of those and I found out that you can actually buy these here in the Czech Republic this is the plug called 5815 I think I put a link in the description to to the picture of this on Flickr also and this is the ground I think so that's touching the outside of the socket and it fits perfectly and you can see that these are much wider than, than on the C, C9 plug over here 
So very similar, this one fatter, thicker, and the slots here are much wider. It is a bit loose, but it does fit. I mean, you are not going to be tugging it, tugging the cable after you plug the machine in, but it fits well, both both ways. So this is the connector actually. So if you happen to have a UHER machine and you're missing the cable, you need to go and look for this plug. Probably you'll have to order it from the Czech Republic because I haven't been able to locate this anywhere online. This 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 cable, this C9 cable is also very difficult to to buy. This I bought on German eBay. This is being sold as a, as a replacement for older Merans and Rewox uh, products. Sorry, not Rewox, uh, Roland, I think, keyboards. But perhaps also Rewox recorders use similar plugs. So that's my trouble with the uh, with the power cord, and because this this is all I have. I, I bought the recorder like this without anything, no cover, no nothing. So of course I, I need to get the power cord to test it. What's the condition of this machine? And hopefully I'll be posting an update of how this goes. If there is no update, well, you know that I got rid of the machine because uh, I wasn't able to fix it. It's, it's, very, it, it's, it's a very rare machine. I have seen uh, no videos online. This is the only video currently on YouTube of a UHER 22 special. And also very little information online. The Hi-Fi engine has the repair manual, which is nice. Also the service uh, documents and user manual, which is fantastic. Here we have controls, play button, stop, this is pause, and this is the rewind, forward, forward, rewind. And in this section, this is your function switch, I don't have the knobs. These are the paper discs I made for measuring uh, the diameter of, of various knobs I've been able to find online, so when I was looking for a replacement. Right, here is your level 1 and 2, left or right, if you're doing a stereo recording. You press this down to record, it's Aufnahme, that's record, and it stays, stays there. And on this side we have the power switch, the speed selector. So you, you switch, you have to switch uh, the speeds at the beginning. You cannot change the speed while the machine machine is running. You have monitor, input selector, it's mi microphone. Oh, sorry, record player radio and microphone and this switch I don't remember what this is for I think this is for monitoring when you want to monitor off um, this is, default should be for monitoring off the tape and if you press it down you are monitoring off the source but I'm not sure you have to check the manual for that and here we have a an early tension control So that's it, that's the UHER or UHER 22 special. Thanks for watching.